everything that went wrong, could possibly go wrong, went wrong. <laughs> You guys, it has been way, way too long. Off to a hot start. It's been way too long since we've done a chit chat get ready with me. I do have some new makeup, but I honestly just wanna do our makeup together and chat. <laughs> I have some funny honeymoon story times to share with you guys, and I thought we could just hang out. I am gonna be zooming in, but I wanted to start this off with you guys knowing I do have on a shirt. I am not naked. So grab your makeup or grab a snack and let's just hang out and get ready together. All right, so we're gonna start off with some Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. Can honestly say, I'm not sure if this does much. Um, I need to order another Milk Hydro Grip because I think that's the only thing that helps my foundation stay on longer in the summer heat. I have barely worn makeup this summer. It's been a weird summer. <laughs> This whole summer in general has been kind of odd, like between us having our wedding and our honeymoon, and then like, then we came home and like all of July has rained pretty much here. So I'm gonna do some Estee Lauder double wear and see if it's the right shade. This was the shade that I had ordered for the wedding that didn't come in in time. <laughs> and I looked back and like our wedding photos, I've been posting them a lot on my Instagram if you guys wanna see them. It's not, not terrible. This is a uh, three, C2, 3C2, couldn't talk. So yeah, I ordered this for the wedding and uh, it didn't come in, so I used like a mix of my old Estee Lauder Double Wear that was a little too light and then the darker shade of It Cosmetic CC Cream and it did not hold at all, <laughs> at all. Um, I needed full double wear for sure, but they came out really good. And I'm actually like totally in love with the photos. Our photographer definitely, <laughs> definitely photoshopped off all my sweat because it was, it was rough. <laughs> like it was really, really hot. And like, honestly, when people tell you that it's hot under your wedding dress, like <laughs> it's something you can't really comprehend until you feel it. It was an oven under that dress. <laughs> There was like 10 layers of tool. Not complaining, it was beautiful and it all worked out just fine, thankfully, but like, oh, <laughs> it was hot. And I had almost, almost wore my hair down. I wanted to do like that vintage glam wave look. Um, that's what I was originally planning to do, but our original wedding was planned for like October. I picked up a new NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, in a darker shade and also my old one is really old. I am planning to do like a full makeup purge, like cleaning out my makeup drawers because you guys, it's past due. Ugh, fresh tube, fresh pizza, save me a slice. <laughs> my life is run by TikToks. Please comment below if you know that TikTok, all right. I'm just going full glam, it's like I haven't in a hot minute, so. Not doing anything special, but you know what? I cranked the AC and I need this. I need this for my soul right now. So I will say I've been really enjoying the, uh, huh, I can't talk already. And I already developed a Southern accent, I think. What is that? Does that sound like, is that George Bush? This is the Brightening Light Banana Powder from Jaclyn. Um, I also bought a new lip combo we're gonna try from Jaclyn Cosmetics later, but I really like this um, under eye powder. So it's the Banana Light. All right, so I know you guys are waiting for <laughs> the honeymoon story. So when I tell you guys we have not had that bad level of travel luck before. Everything that went wrong, could possibly go wrong, went wrong. <laughs> All right, so on our way there, we get to the airport early. Our flight was at like, mm, I'm say 10? And we got there two and a half hours early. We parked the car, we walk over to the terminal. And mind you, obviously we haven't flown in like so long. And I don't know why it didn't cross our minds that like we, we're entering a travel time during this whole vaccination thing. You know, people are really eager to travel again. But you know, we get there early where we're like, whatever, whatever goes wrong, 
we'll have time. So we walk over from the parking lot to the terminal and the terminal is like kind of above because we walked through like the pedestrian bridge and we can see over like the whole terminal and it is so, so packed. Like I can't even, <laughs> can't even describe to you guys. I've, I've traveled a lot in my time here on this earth so far and I've never seen it that full. And I'm like, that's fine. We got here early. We're gooch, right? Side note, I got my brows laminated um, last week. So I'm just gonna do a little Anastasia brow freeze gel and then just pencil in like a tiny bit. So we go ahead and go to the little kiosk to check in um, on the computer. And then, you know, you go to bag drop. We have an issue printing our baggage tags, which we've like never had an issue with that before and we have to go into the helpline. The baggage line is already like, <laughs> it like, go, all the baggage lines are long and they go like around to like, they're not just a line, like they curve and go like around, like far, like, it's hard to even navigate, it's that busy. And before I continue, like I just wanna preface, I am not complaining at all. Like I'm so thankful to go on a honeymoon. This is just a funny story time. We can totally look back and laugh at it now, but in the moment it was quite stressful, but I'm not trying to be like a complainer. This is just meant to be funny and hopefully give you guys a giggle because it's pretty crazy when we look back at it. So we get in line at the help desk and at this point, because we'd waited kind of a while to like even go to like the computer kiosk because there was like even a line for that, which is like something I've personally never seen before. So we get into the help desk line and at this point, I can honestly say we have like a little under two hours till the doors close. So at that point we get into the help desk line and we have about an hour and a half until the doors close. Cause you know, we got there two and a half hours before our flight, but the doors close like 30, 40 minutes before the plane even is supposed to take off, right? And the line at the help desk, I kid you not, is so, long I want to say like 50 people deep and so we're waiting there and only like 15 minutes goes by and I'm just like it has not moved like I'm just getting like a little a little nervous and there is like a JetBlue employee just chilling there next to us um just like for help or whatever and I ask I'm like I'm like just out of curiosity like is this the right line to be in like if our boarding passes like wouldn't print at the kiosk like we're just trying to not boarding passes our luggage tags like we're just trying to drop off our bags because we do have our boarding passes um, and our flight is in X amount of time. Like, is, is there a way we can just like print our boarding passes? Because a lot of these people we could hear in front of us were like rescheduling flights, like doing more serious things than like, I'm not trying to cut anyone or anything like that. I'm just trying to drop off my bags. You know what I mean? And the guy was so nice. He was like, um, he sent us over to this like sideline. I don't know if it was the one that was like for like mosaic or something like that. I don't know, like the, the fancy people <laughs> and there was only two people in front of us that line does not move so 20 minutes pass and the other line is starting to move and our line's not moving and i'm like i'm starting to look panicked like i'm i know the security line's gonna be long because i can see how busy it is in here i'm like i'm like i'm getting a little bit antsy the doors close in about 40 minutes now like we're it's just a lot of waiting a lot of waiting and a lot of nerve-wracking moments and i'm like damn like the one time the one time it didn't print like oh and this guy comes back over he's like i can i can see your nervous eyes from across the room because i'm sure i looked pretty panicked at that point he was like did i put you guys in a worse line and i'm like i don't know <laughs> it's okay like i don't know um, and he ends up like helping us because at this point like we don't have a lot of time and he knows like We're getting we're getting close with how that long that security line is gonna be this guy was so nice He helped us print out our luggage tags and um, be able to go to security I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much Like he was so so nice and we get into the security line and it is it's it's really long like I mean It's what we expected at this point. We're kind of just like just kind of hoping we make it at any chance. Like just the last people on the plane if we have to like, and we actually get through security and you know, we're doing that awkward fast pace through the airport energy where you just kind of like half kind of like trying to run. And I kid you not, we are the last people on the plane. But you know what, we're on the plane. He and I are just like, thank you God, like we did it. Like the, the whole time I was just like praying to the Lord. I'm like, please. Yara has like a military thing too. So like 
after the honeymoon so like even delaying it it just it was it would have just been really complicated but regardless we made it on the plane we're super super happy and we make it to our layover in puerto rico we make it to dr and all is well that that was just like a very small pre-story the way home was where it really got real if you guys want to watch our honeymoon vlog i will link it below for you i'm gonna just throw in a little bit of some eyelid primer this is just the mac painterly paint pot see how bright the under eyes are it's like whoop. So our friend who's like super familiar with DR, you know, my husband is from Dominican Republic, but not Punta Cana area. So our friend who's super familiar with Punta Cana where we stayed was like, don't worry, the airport's like really, really quiet. Like you don't need to worry about it. Like it's gonna be quick. But we still get there two hours early. We're like, no, after that fiasco, we just don't want any stress. Like, you know, let's not risk it, right? This is the Revolution uh, Mega Bronzer in Cool, by the way. Everything will be linked below, obviously. And I kid you not, we walk into the airport. It's exactly like how it was at home. But this one was worse. This one was worse. The line, 75 to 100, and I'm not exaggerating. It was so, the line was so deep. And um, at this airport, there wasn't like kiosks, you know, to check in and then just print your bag tag and drop your bag. Like it was like, just the full on line. And we get in line and we're like, well, hopefully it moves quickly. You know, we're here early. 45 minutes pass. It has hardly, hardly moved. It's it's so busy. Like it's just so, so busy. Like we've moved a little bit, but not much. Little Milani Romantic Rose blush and OG fave. Elf has some good brushes, y'all. I kid you not, like I'm obsessed. Then it gets to the point where, you know, when they're like, last call for flight, whatever if you're on this flight like come up here like we gotta try to get you through i've never had that happen to me before um that is where we got to so our connecting flight was in new york and uh they were like new york flight da 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 and i'm like babe i think that's our flight and so we go out we go up to the front we're cutting it close because at this point we still have to go through security and customs and immigration all that stuff right i'd say at this point the doors close in about 30 minutes to get on the plane and our flight was around lunchtime and we didn't have lunch time. We're like, are we gonna have time to get lunch? <laughs> Just a couple of fatties. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, this is the ice highlighter from Jacqueline. Like, Lord Jesus. So, so fire. Oh my God, I haven't done makeup in so long. This feels almost illegal. It feels so good. Snack. Should I contour my nose? Maybe. Why the heck not, right? So we make it through security, we make it through customs and all that. And it's got like the duty-free kind of mall situation, like right when you get through that area, like all that, you know, security and immigration and stuff. And we're just like, all right, let's hit it. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time at all now. So like, again, back to that fast pace, awkward half run walk that you do and literally i could not tell you how far our gate was it was so far we went through two of the duty-free little airport malls we're, we're just we're trying we're trying so we get there and people are boarding there's like maybe five ten people left boarding and we just just make it and like thankfully yar gets in line and there is like a little uh i don't know like a convenience store i grab us a couple sandwiches we get in line for the plane and we're like, oh, we did it. We're here. Like, yes, we just made it. Feeling good, feeling confident. Looked out at our tickets. Wait, why aren't our seats together? <laughs> we like, you know, you can pay in advance to make sure your seats are together for seat selection. I'm just like, oh, hell no. Because <laughs> I'm a plus size woman. Even my husband, he's not, he's not plus size, but he's pretty broad. Um, so we have a very specific routine on planes like sitting next to each other like we kind of like one arm on top of the other situation and I'm like oh this is like a four-hour flight like I'm, I don't want to sit next to a stranger and have to like you know like it's being bigger it's like Ugh, you gotta like sit this the whole time Ugh. it's just un it's just unpleasant right so we sit separately and I'm just like uh, at this point I'm just like I'm so flustered I hope I don't sound like a baby I'm just like I'm flustered like I'm just I'm salty that like we just were running through the airport trying to catch our plane it's just a lot of stress and then like for that on top of it I was just it was a lot of stress right and I'm kind of just like tearing up because I'm just anxious about sitting ah, do I sound stupid I probably sound stupid I'm gonna throw on a caviar eye stick as well from Laura Mercier um because I got a bunch in PR and they're all like really pretty sounding they all have like the word rose in them 
rose thorn, strike a rose, forbidden rose. Let's just pick one at random because I haven't even looked at these yet. Hopefully it's a color we like. If not, we'll pick another one. But I love the caviar eye sticks from Laura Mercier. Ooh, they're so stunning. This packaging though. Ooh, this is like a beautiful, oh my God, look at that coppery color. I feel like that's gonna make my green eyes pop. And like, honestly, I've had some really like, not bad experiences, but like kind of bad experiences flying as a fat person. Like, I don't know. And one time I, I think I talked about this in a vlog a while back, but one time I was about to get on a plane and there was a bigger person in front of me as like we were all kind of waiting to board. And like these two asshole guys were like, like just like classic businessmen douchebags like were in front of me and I could hear them just like talking shit about this person like saying that like they'd be so mad if they got sat next to them like they shouldn't be flying just like it was just awful like it just my blood was boiling and to this day I'm still mad that I didn't say something to them like I still think about that probably like once a month like I wish I had just been like you guys like <laughs> seek therapy like you know because it was just it was just vile like it made me so upset and then, you know, you get in your head and you're like, I'm sure people feel that way, you know, about me. And like, I just, it, I don't know. It just, you know, there's an extra layer of nerve wracking nerves <laughs> when it comes to flying as a bigger person. Uh, I'm sure if you're bigger, you can relate. Okay, I'm sorry, but that is so insanely gorgeous. Like what? And it blended out like a dream. I just used the Morphe M503 brush to like blend out the edges. That is, oh my God. I love this. This is so beautiful. Okay. So we do sit in our separate seats and like, thankfully, all of a sudden I hear coming from behind me because Yara's like a couple rows behind me. I hear him go, babe, babe. <laughs> and he was so nice. He, he talked to the stewardess and there was um, a couple empty seats in the back and we were able to sit together, which made me so happy. Apparently JetBlue um, had switched to a larger plane or something and people's seats got messed up. We did get refunded for paying for our seats. I saw that in my email the next day, um, but it was super nice for them to let us sit together still. So it's all fun and fresh. We got our sandwich, we're on the plane. Everything is A-OK, -okay. or so we thought. <laughs> so like I said, we have a layover in New York and this flight is later in the day. We're not supposed to get home until I think like, originally I think it was 10.30, 11-ish. I knew we were going to be home home by around midnight originally. I think I'm going to throw this on my bottom lash line as well because it's just like stunning. So our plane actually lands like 30 minutes early and we're like, oh, well, yeah, dude. Because when you go international and you come home, even if you have a layover, wherever your layover is, you have to um, go through immigration and customs whenever you get like to America even if you have another destination. And since we land early, I'm like, you know, that added a level of relief because you have such a crunched amount of time with layovers when you get back to America. We had an hour and a half originally till our next flight. And it was, I knew it would be kind of close because when you say it, it's an hour and a half to your next flight, like they don't, they close the doors before that. Like it's, it's a lot of time to like get your bag, go through customs, recheck it. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it, it's kind of, kind of a process. Okay, so I love the way that this looks. I think I'm just gonna do mascara for my eyes because I do have a lash lift right now and they actually look really good with mascara. So I'm gonna do um, some L'Oreal Telescopic uh, while I continue my story. So landing early was like such a blessing. We were so happy. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this lash brush. I'm actually gonna switch over to my Urban Decay Lash Freak because I don't know why I did not grab this first. This is my favorite mascara. But once we land, uh, we get stuck on the tarmac for over an hour because there isn't um, like a door or a, I don't even know what to call it. There isn't like one of the places to go where it connects and you get off the plane. They're all full. And there's only special ones um, for international flights. Like we, they can't just use, because we see open ones. We're like, why aren't they using those? But like there's special ones for uh, international flights, okay? So we get stuck forever. Everyone's getting antsy. They keep telling us 15 more minutes, 15 more minutes. And like Yara and I are kind of just like, we're getting so close. I mean, we had landed early, which helped a little bit, but like we're just getting, getting antsy, getting a little worried. And there's other people we can hear who have a connecting flight to Boston as well. And like the flight um, attendants say like, you know, if you have a connecting flight, like please let those people off first once we're able to finally get off. So, you know, we get off. Once you get to that customs line, it is just, 
it, that is what was like the longest. And like there's some hope at this point that like we'll quickly-ish get through immigration and be able to like, I don't know, be able to make it again, kind of just like the last people on. Cause like for almost, I think for all of our flights actually, we were the, the last people on, um, which was, you know, pretty telling of how, how close we were cutting it. But honestly guys, the line was moving so slow. We, we knew, we were like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make it. Like at that point we were like halfway through the line there was 20 minutes um, left until the doors even close, and I'm like, there's just no chance. So at that point, we're kind of just thinking like, oh, well, I wonder, I wonder if there are any more flights tonight. Like, you know, it's getting kind of on the later side. I don't know if they're going to have more flights. We're thinking like, should we just rent a, rent a car and drive home? It's like a three and a half hour ride back home from New York. But like, we're tired. It's kind of just been a long day. So again, I've traveled quite a bit. I've never had this issue before. I had an issue going through immigration when they scanned my passport. Like there was like an issue with my passport and that took, I've never had that happen. That was like a whole kerfuffle. That took literally like 30 minutes to fix. And like we're 100% we're sure we're not making our flight. So we go through, everything gets sorted out. It's okay. Um, but that just added another level of stress. <laughs> like it was really stressful. I'm like, cause there's something so nerve wracking. Like you're coming home, you just like don't want any problems. You don't know like what's going on, but eventually it gets it gets sorted out. They actually had to like pull me aside and they didn't tell Yarman where I was going and he got like really freaked out. Like it was, it was I'm, I don't want to talk about it. I was honestly like really nerve wracking. But when we get through one of the JetBlue people, like we asked them, we're like, what, what should we do now? Like we missed our flight. Um, and they're like, don't worry, there's another flight, one final flight tonight to Boston in like an hour and a half. Like I'm sure you guys can get on that flight you guys have to go to the help desk. So they're like, do you want us to check your bags though for that flight? Like, cause you'll, you'll get on that flight. I'm like, you're not taking my bag. My God knows if we're gonna get on this flight or not. I'm like, thank you, but that's all right. <laughs> I'd rather recheck it just in case. We get into the help line. It's another just crazy long line. Like it's so long. And help desks, it's not that quick because like they're genuinely like fixing people's like flight issues. Like that's not like a quick like here's your here's your bag, ticket number, I'm gonna take your bag, bye bye. It's it's long. And by the time we get up there, there is one seat left on that Boston flight. Because I think what happened was since I had an issue at immigration, everyone else who had you know missed that Boston connecting flight you know, they, if they got through quickly, like they just went right to the help desk and got all those seats. But we were kind of, we were at the very end and like we were at the end of it. So whatever seats were left on that Boston flight went to everyone else who had got there before us who also missed the same flight. Um, so there's one seat left <laughs> and we're like, well, what do you recommend? Like, do you have anything else? And they're like, that's all we have. Like the next one would be in the morning. Um, I can talk to my supervisor and see if we can get you guys a hotel for the morning flight. And we're like, all right, like it just is what it is. Like we're both exhausted. We're just like, you know, a hotel doesn't sound bad right now. Kind of would love to go to sleep, right? All right, so I got some Jaclyn lip liners and liquid lipsticks. I'm just gonna take them out and like see which one goes with which. Um, so the JetBlue, all the JetBlue people that we encountered were honestly so helpful and so nice. She was like, I think you guys should just like go on standby for this flight. Just give it a shot. Like I'll still print you tickets for the next morning if I need to, um, if you guys can't make it on. But like, I think like there's a solid chance, like maybe, maybe a couple people won't show up. Maybe you'll get on, like it might be worth the risk. She's like, you guys are the first people on the standby list. Like, you know, if there are empty seats, they will go to you guys. And I'm like, we're like, what do you think? Like, should we risk it? And she's like, honestly, like between you and I, like, I think you should risk it. Like, I think you'll probably get on. Um, we're like, all right. <laughs> so we go and check our bags, go through security again. Um, at this point, we're like pretty hungry because all we had were those sandwiches. Um, we get some food. We wait. We do see, you know how they have like the people on standby written up like on one of those little electronic screens? At your gates. Okay, this lip combo looks sick. So I've got um, bourbon lip liner and then get real liquid lipstick. Let me just throw this on real quick before I finish. All right, I love the color of that lip liner. Definitely my vibe. Now let's try the, this packaging is gorgeous too, by the way. Love, all right. Ooh, 
All right, that's a lot more orange than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh my God. I did also get the shade Truth. I'm gonna throw this on top. It's a little pinkier. Oh my God, it's like not fixing it. Let's try Truth on its own. It's so funny, this looks way more pink, but it's like not. I don't know what to make of this. I don't know if I like this. I will say I like the formula, but I don't love uh, the color. If you guys have tried any of the Jaclyn liquid lipsticks, let me know your favorite like pinky nude below. But the formula, very, very comfortable. I will say that. I can't believe I've been talking so long. My battery actually died and I had to swap it out. But anyway, we actually end up getting the last two seats on the plane. And I was just like, I was about to cry, I was like, thank you. And we literally, even, even down to our like parking ticket, it wouldn't scan. Like it was just like all like the tiny nuances that could go wrong went wrong. And there's a lot of little things as well, but I'm not gonna share all those. But anyway, when we, when we got on that plane, when we got home, it was just like the best feeling ever. Like it felt so good to be home. So good, we made it. I just don't like the slip color. Is it even worth changing? Cause I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> But anyway, um, we had a great honeymoon, <laughs> minus minus little travel kerfuffle. I hope you guys enjoyed this like just little story time. It was not meant to be, again, whiny. Like it's just supposed to be funny. Hopefully you got a laugh. Um, I'll link all the makeup below. Thank you for watching. Comment below your travel horror story times because I want to hear. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.